Hi, my name is Ron Leroy. I'm a director of the Revelstoke Snowmobile Club. Behind me is the newly renovated Feldinger Hut, commonly known as the Frisbee Cabin. Uh, done this last summer to the tune of about $40,000. Uh, we hope everybody does enjoy this cabin. It's there for their safety and their enjoyment. There's a few things on this mountain that uh, we'd like to address at this time though. One of them happens to be finding these things all over the mountain. You know, while we encourage uh, zero tolerance on the mountain, we ask that you please take out what you bring in. There's nothing more disgusting than finding this up in the Alpine as we're snow building across the mountain. And please remember, there are other users on this mountain too. There are skiers. In the summer, there's, there's mountain bike riders, there's hikers, there's horseback riders. So not only do we see this, and not, not only does the snow not hide this, it's there in it's all its glory come next summer. The other issue on this mountain is there are restricted uh, snow areas that are closed to snow building on the mountain. Those areas are closed because they're protected habitat for mountain caribou, an endangered species in British Columbia. There are caribou on this mountain. We were up here last weekend and we did enjoy seeing a couple of them. Uh, about a week and a half ago we had a, a work party where we did install a lot of signs marking the boundary. Uh, this cost probably in the neighborhood of about twelve to thirteen thousand dollars to do these signs. They were flown in by helicopter and planted in place by helicopter. The same day as we were planting the signs, we had guys go into the restricted areas. Last weekend, we had the restricted areas torn up from one end to the other with what looked like to me and my other snow patroller, a deliberate attempt by people to go past this every single sign that we did establish on the mountain marking the boundary of the closed area. When you do this, you're not only hurting snowmobiling today, you're going to hurt it in the future because the government will look at how we cannot manage the area after we claim we can manage it and they will put a, an, an official closure on this area and you will not be snow building it anymore. So uh, most of the people coming in here from out of town and people that live here do respect what we're trying to do. They do respect the closed areas. Unfortunately, we do have those that do not respect it. We ask you, please don't come back.